the Arctic is one of those frontiers that um, still holds many places that are unexplored. A lot of places up there that's never seen human beings and the science work is something new that somebody like me as a fisherman never dreamt that I'd be involved with. You're doing something new every day. The Arctic is a place that's changing very dramatically and there's so little known in the Arctic. In a way, we're kind of racing against time. Uh, a research vessel that's dedicated to supporting different types of science is very important because uh, we need a baseline. We need to figure out what's happening now before the environment changes. You know, we're seeing declines in sea ice in the Arctic, uh, which is eventually going to lead to increased shipping traffic. So we don't really know, um, you know, the dynamics between ice environments and oil spills. So. We're kind of hoping to get into these areas before a big event happens to sort of fill those knowledge gaps. So what does happen in sea ice, in cold water environments, when there's oil present, and then how can we act in an efficient, timely manner to, to clean up that oil. The Arctic is much further away for uh, people in the south, the rest of the planet. It is one planet and it is interconnected. In addition to that, let's not forget that uh, the Arctic is not an uninhabited uh, place. There are northern communities that live up there. They do acquire a lot of their food from the ocean. An oil spill there, we have no idea what it could do to the marine life there. We have no idea how it could change some of their primary food sources. Things that we learn uh, with every science expedition is how little we know and also how things are interconnected. Future science planning you know, has to have a cultural uh, component, it has to have a science component. One of the components that GenEyes has is to uh, work with the communities and the local knowledge and information they have. We are actually working in the front yard. For us, it might be a backyard, but it is their front yard. And that is a big consideration for us. First uh, maiden voyage for the William Kennedy going into Hudson Bay and traveling around Southampton Island. It's all new territory for us. In the Arctic, where we are, it's a long way to get help if something happens. So um, the crew have to work uh, quickly together and understand each other to make sure we're all safe. So whether you like it or not, you become family, you become brothers, and... Uh, and close friends, because you're, you're pretty well sleeping together. <laughs> <laughs> Butterflies are just starting, because we're getting close. <laughs> yeah. When you first pull off and say, oh, we're on our way, it's, that's when the reality will hit in. <laughs> yeah.